Good morning. It is another beautiful day. We are not in the shop. We're actually on the road. Today is going to be an epic day. We don't, don't tell them the time. What time is it, Matt? It's like 5 a.m. I think we got up at around 4. Yeah. We've been on the road for a bit. We have got the wrecker right there. There's lots of things happening. We've got two jobs we've got to do with the wrecker, and then we've got to drop it off at Chad's Fab. We're grabbing fuel right now. We do grab fuel. There's no way we can run out of fuel unless we first start with getting fuel to run out. We're gonna fill up the wrecker too. It's we have no idea. Ways, yeah. yeah, we have no idea. It's a 60 gallon tank. It's been running for weeks without being checked. 30 gallons, that's not bad. This thing gets great fuel mileage. All right, so this is how the day is gonna go. Already, we left the yard at 4.30 a.m., me and my guy Jake, who's driving the Freightliner. So what we're doing is we're headed straight to Little Sahara to do an off-road recovery. Jake's gonna go to Gunnison, and he's dropping off Charlie's Ford Explorer. So after we leave Little Sahara, we're going to Johnny Boy's house, we're gonna drop off the trailer and the wrecker for a minute while we head to Rocky Mountain Wrecker Sales. Jake's gonna meet us there. He's gonna drop off the Freightliner for some repairs. So at this point, we'll all be together we're gonna head back to Johnny Boy's house. We're gonna pick up the wrecker and head to do a job in the snow. After the job in the snow, we gotta to go to Lehigh and drop off the wrecker at Chad's Fab to finish up some wiring. And he will have it for an undisclosed amount of time. So after that, we're gonna be heading down to Robbie Layton's to pick up Tom's Cherokee. Yeah, I dropped off an XJ on my way back down from Idaho after Easter Jeep Safari. When we leave there, we're gonna head straight to Gunnison. We're gonna go by Mopar Jace's house and I'm picking up a derby car for an upcoming build that's gonna be amazing. And if you didn't follow all that, just keep watching and we'll show you along the way. All right, the sun is only moments away from breaking over the horizon. It's about 40 degrees out there. Doesn't really matter because we're gonna be traveling through all different climate zones, temperatures throughout the day. It's gonna be just a beautiful day, I think. We're not too far past the I-70 exit, and that's where Jake's headed that way to get over to Gunnison. We're just gonna continue on here. We're gonna peel off left in a second and uh, head out to the Little Sahara Sand Dunes. I'm in the Freightliner on Interstate 70, and I'll see you guys in Gunnison. We are at the last stop for fuel before like Tooele because we're heading out across the West Desert. We're gonna be doing a job out at Little Sahara. So I think it's wise that we fuel up right now so we don't end up with another situation like we've had in the past. It's out a couple of times. I'm excited to go out there because I've never seen the off-road park out there and I don't think we've ever done a job out there. So it'll be cool to check this area out. Yeah, the last job I did out there was way before I was into towing professionally. So it's been a good 15 years since I've done a recovery at Little Sahara. We'll go see what it's like. All right, let's hit the road. Well, I made it to Gunnerson. Let's unload this Ford Explorer. So if any of y'all remember the Buckmaster. That's a pretty nice two point buck. There's another nice little buck. Another decent sized buck right over there. Johnny boy. We're gonna be meeting him at Little Sahara because we're up in his neck of the woods and he just wanted to come out and give us a hand. So that's gonna be awesome. Occasionally people ask me how the Suburban's doing and it's Johnny Boy. So you'll get to see us both at the same time. Maybe that'll help explain things. No, it won't. All right, we're here. We're gonna stop here at the train tracks. Doesn't look like anybody's coming. So we're here at the entrance of Little Sahara and I've not heard from the customer yet. They were gonna meet us out here. I've been texting them, have not made contact. Saw Johnny Boy there, he just pulled in behind us. So we're gonna pull in here, and see if we can make a phone call. See if we can get a hold of this guy. No answer. If I can't get a hold of him, I'm not gonna unload. There's what we're supposed to be getting. All right, we got the Ford Explorer. Dropped off, now we're heading to Rocky Mountain Records. See you soon. Got a text from Jake that the Ford Explorer's been dropped off. 
we have still not made contact with the customer. I don't know what to do. They might be at the vehicle out of service. It's always hard. Like if they're gone, if somebody got them out and they just, they're ghosting us, it's always a tough decision. Like we've came all this way, we probably should verify whether or not they're out. I don't know. Tough call, what do you say? We've got a pin. How far is it from here to the pin? All right, we're here with our area expert, the Buckmaster, Johnny Boy. Good morning. He, he knows more about these dunes than I do, so he's gonna lead us to the vehicle. We're gonna go see if they're still there. All right, let's go. So we have decided we're just gonna head in there and see if we can find the vehicle, just verify if it's still there or not. I would hate to leave just because he was out of service and wasn't able to make contact this morning. So we'll verify and I guess if we find the vehicle there but don't find him, then we'll have to come up with another plan. But as as of now, that's what we're gonna do. Okay, we're gonna go look for him. Yeah, we just got no other choice. We're choiceless. Just gonna drag him out if the vehicle's there and he's not? What do you do? I don't know. Okay, load up. We've been driving through these dunes. We're pretty close. How close? We're 1.2 miles. Okay, we're still pretty far. A little more to the right. A little more to the right. We're just picking our way through here. Johnny, can you give us an update? We've been driving around on the sand for a while. Nothing yet. Are we getting close to him, Matt? We're still a mile out. A mile? How's this thing doing, you feel? It's doing really good. The sand's pretty dry, but it's still pulling through just fine. Straight from the Buckmaster. Okay, we're right on top of his pin and we can see the tracks that looks like he was stuck right here where we're at. What'd you find, Matt? Just some trash that he left. Well, that's a bummer that he didn't have the decency to let us know that he got out, but that's okay. We were driving by anyway. We were skunked, but we're still got a good attitude. Johnny wants to drive the wrecker out, so we're gonna let him do that. At least part of the way. Then we'll put Tom Tom there, then we'll put Trevor in it. Sounds good. This we, is gonna be fun. We gotta burn up some time since the trash cleanup only took one second. Yeah, we gotta come out even with Jake. Wonder how he's doing. Back to you, Jake. I'm just trucking along. Things are going good. So we let Johnny drive. He did amazing. Now we're gonna let Tom Tom drive. And Tom did amazing. Now we're gonna let Trevor drive. And he brought us safe and sound back to camp. All right, that job was kind of a bust, but we had a super good time cruising through the dunes. Got to see some terrain that we haven't been on before, so that was fun. Heading on to the next thing. So now that we got that job done, we're gonna go to Johnny Boy's house, we're gonna drop off the trailer, then we're gonna jet up to Rocky Mountain Wrecker, pick up Jake, and then come back and hook up the trailer and head to the job. That's what we're doing next. That's what we're doing. All right, you guys, I just made it over here to Salt Lake over at Rocky Mountain Wreckers. We're gonna get the Freightliner in here for some service. Matt should be here soon to pick me up. That mountain right there. I pulled an airplane off of it once. All right, so I'm still here over at Rocky Mountain Wreckers and Services. Um, just got a call from Tom and it looks like I'm gonna have to Uber on up out of here. So Jake is already at Rocky Mountain Wrecker and we are still a ways out. So we've decided to have him get an Uber and meet us at Johnny Boy's house. That'll give us time to grab some lunch and get ready for this next job. Yeah, it should save us about an hour and a half. So that was a good move. So like I said, since Jake's taking an Uber here, it gives us a little time to grab some food. First time for me today. Tom had some cereal early this morning. Have you eaten yet? I had some cereal really early. All right, so time. I'm happiest about lunch out of everybody here. We're gonna grab some taco time. We're gonna grab some fuel. We're gonna meet Jake. We're gonna go to the job. Jake beat us to Johnny Boys, so we picked him up a big Juan burrito and a Coke. Matt, what you looking at over there on the dash? Um, the low fuel light is on. No surprises there. We are almost out of fuel, so we're gonna hit the gas station and we're sending Johnny Boy back to grab Jake at his house. We'll meet up and check out this recovery. And we'll feed him a burrito. All right, so I just got 
my Uber ride over here to Johnny Boy's house. I get a call from Tom saying that they're not going to make it over here to the pin that they dropped. They're out of gas. So Lonnie Boy and I are going to go run over and see the guys. It's not easy to get diesel in this town. So as you can see, we had to put some effort into this. There's room. So the little job that we were doing in Little Sahara this morning was added on last night. It was gonna put us behind schedule, which it did, but now because of Ubers and some good fortune, we are uh, once again, basically on schedule or a little bit ahead of schedule. I just like that we have a schedule at all. <laughs> Those are rare. I'm Tom. Good to meet you. Me and my wife are just on a drive and we just, we hit snow and there was a fork about 50 feet behind my truck right now. And I'm like, okay, I'm not going any farther. When I started to back up to go down to that fork, it hit some ice and I just slid into a four and a half foot deep ditch. Oh, shoot. We dug for like three and a half hours with nothing but a um, snow window scraper. Because I mean, the whole way up, it's basically dry. Well, we'll get in there. This should make it pretty easy. I'm waiting for my guys behind me. Um, okay. Yeah, it's just, you just turn up this road right here. Oh. Perfect, okay. I made it! Yeah, we finally <laughs> met up with Jake here. Got yourself a burrito. All right, thank you, sir. Okay, we're gonna go do this. <laughs> Looks like Johnny Boy's got the Bronco out. Let's unload right here. All right, we've got the customer in there in Johnny Boy's Bronco, and we are following them into the job. Came around the corner and there he is. Right there. Okay, as you can see, I originally slid off up there. Oh yeah, you did. I got back a little bit and I just kept sliding down into the ditch more and more and more. And when I was up here last, you know, this whole thing was full of snow and that was all full of snow. All right. So yeah, they went off the road a little further up, kept trying to back out, just kept getting more and more. Been a lot of snow melt since they were here last. I still don't think it's going to get out by itself. We're going to make sure it gets out. Right, Jake, this is you. All right. Go ahead and start it up and get the window rolled down. Perfect. Okay, all so right. turn the wheel all the way to the right. Now, we're going to crab walk you out of here. So I'm going to pull the back end out. You're going to steer the front end out. And it might be a little bit of time before that happens. Right? back off that road up there. Oh, right. You're coming with me. Oh, no. It'll be fine. I hope. Oh, yeah. You got this one, no problem, Jake. I got this. You're doing good. Let's keep going. There you go. Have a good one. We're gonna have Johnny Boy pulled up on the trailer because he was pretty excited about driving it. You're looking good. That's good right there. All right, that job wasn't too bad. We got him pulled right out and on his way. Now it's time to say goodbye to Johnny Boy and Trevor and we're gonna head on our way. Take care of you guys, it's been fun. Bye. And we picked up Jake. Hey, I'm here. And we still have Tom. I'm not going anywhere. And me. Next stop, Chad's Fab. All right, so we're a few moments from Chad's Fab. I'm slightly alarmed though, because I've been reaching out to him and he has not been responding. This could be the second time today that we get ghosted. We're just gonna drop off the wrecker and leave it for him. I think he'll see it. Do some donuts in his lawn. Big burnout teach him a lesson. All right, well, we'll see what it is. We might just be dropping in on Maybe he lost his phone. Maybe his phone's dead. I don't know. There's Chad. He tried to ghost me. 
but it didn't work. We found you. Yeah. A little earlier than I thought you'd. Today's be been going good. Good, I guess so. If you're here we've before got, dark. We've got Ubers involved, and it was awesome. All right, we're dropping the wrecker off here at Chad's. He's going to be finishing all the wiring, and that means some of the other fabrication work, because some of the wiring has to go on things that haven't been made yet. So we're dropping him off these cab removal tools and uh, it's just showing him some of the nuances of what needs to happen. I'm betting it doesn't fit. Yeah. But right quick. These tail lights right here, uh -huh. we do not have a housing for them, but we're gonna get that made. Is there anything on the truck that you don't want us to touch? Yes. Don't touch my things. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> So this is going to be mounted in that little box wherever it fits to pull fresh air, fresh okay. dusty air to blow all over this. Yep. There's other things that I'm forgetting. Okay. The adapter that goes into the oil pan for the temperature sen oil temperature sensor mm -hmm. is in here. Okay. And what else is in here? I don't know. You got to start digging in the box. There's man. a one-way valve so that if we lose all the air in these tanks, we still have the air for the lockers. And if there's anything you're missing here that you think we might have already bought, because we did buy a lot of stuff. Okay. Call I'll me call and yeah. let me know. Um, let's get a, the truck unloaded. <laughs> all right, we got all this stuff dropped off for Chad and his crew. They're going to expertly execute all of the things that need to be done properly that are still in these boxes. They're gonna put it on that, the world's largest off-road wrecker and he's gonna do it with one of those. Where yeah, a big old smile, big maybe old a smile. Th thumbs up too, so yeah. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah. Okay, we are off to pick up Tom's XJ, which is another thing that just got tacked onto this trip. We're going to Robbie Layton's. Did yeah. you sign up for this convoluted trip? Did I don't you? even know what I'm in for today. It's just, <laughs> show up. <laughs> drive here, Go drive here, Go. drive here. Uber there. Uber. Yeah. I swear we'll be there this time. Yeah. Hey, we're not there. Okay, next time you see us, we will be at Robbie Layton's shop. All right, as promised, we are here at Robbie Layton's, Layton Auto Body. We're gonna see if Robbie's here. Maybe say hi to Hillbilly, you never know. On the way back down from Idaho after Easter Jeep Safari, I stopped in here and dropped off an XJ so that I could pick up Dig Dug. And it's right over here. We're going to pick it up and get it all the way back down. Maybe someday I'll do something with it. You never know. It's always good to have a spare XJ. What is that? What? Yeah. Oh. That's right. You better hide what you're doing. Weird to see you here. You're so far from home. I know it. Surprise, we cleaned. You did clean. Yeah, now there's just a storage container out back completely full. Oh yeah, just packed <laughs> yeah, in there. Just... Remember when I got my bead yeah. locks cut out on that table way that back? That was the table? That's yeah. it. In all its glory, that's what started it. And there was nothing in this room at the time. Started a beautiful friendship. Yes. <laughs> so, we're here with the limo driver. There's the limo. There's the driver. He's gonna load this up for Tom. He told me that it has a pleasant smell of... Ammonia? Yeah. yeah. The mice get in there and... Wrecked havoc. There it goes. All right, now that we got that done, next stop is Jace's house to pick up the Derby wagon. Derby cars. Yes. We got a good surprise coming up. Robbie's involved, Paul's involved, Rudy's involved. That's coming quick. Who else is involved? Gladiators of Steel are involved. Have you not announced it yet? Nope, Gumby, we're coming for you. More details later. We don't have enough to even let you really know, but soon, you will know as soon as we know. We are back here where Jake dropped off the Exploder this morning, and Jake just realized that. He's like, hey, this place looks familiar. He didn't know we were coming back here. So here we are with Mopar Jace, no. who drives a Chevy. Yeah, drives Chevy, <laughs> drives all sorts of other stuff. All right, let's look at this beauty. Now you're gonna load it. Um, I was hoping you had a way to do that. There's no ramps. <laughs> I'm serious, there's no ramps. <laughs> We're gonna have to improvise some ramps. Does that run at all? No. Are you there? You're joking, No, I'm not. <laughs> 
I wish I was. Tom, figure out how we're gonna get this on. Okay. All right, we came all this way and we have no way to load this vehicle on. So I really don't have ramps. So now that Jace finally believes me, he's decided to work with me to get this car on air. Isn't that right, Jace? Who doesn't have ramps? This guy. We've come up with a plan. So Jace had some ramps for his trailer. They don't fit our trailer at all, but we're still gonna try it. Do you wanna see if we have the tow we point? We don't have a tow point. Hook up anywhere you want. This is gonna be nice and slow. Okay, your job is when I stop him, should we get radios? All right, so the rope's gonna be like under things and then he's gonna have to stop. And you're gonna have to flip it over things and then okay. we'll go forward. Are you sure you want a rope and not a chain? Yeah. How come? How come? Yeah. I'm gonna give you a rope. Ooh. So it'll change your life. Hold on. Hold on, I gotta put some hubba bubba on. I've been sitting I've been sitting on it. Hubba bubba. We've got brakes. Alright, I think we're pretty good. How am I looking for being lined up? A little this way. Really? How's that side? You're oh, on now. Like... You're hitting. How bad? Really bad. If it pops it, you might go over. You think that'll go over that? Might. Where's it hitting? Like yeah, like right in there. Yeah. Might Oof. pop over it with enough speed. Might not. Let's just raise the... Raise the trailer. It's backwards? Mm. I've never seen anything like that. We should put this on some sort of drill. Some of you would say that the problem is right there. Jace is trying to tell me the problem lies elsewhere. I don't know what he's implying, but if it's what I think it is, I don't like it. No comment? You're the <laughs> professional tow guy, I don't care. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Two feet. And then gas it, but don't, don't, when you hit the end of the rope, I'll already be on top of that and you can let off the gas and then just ease up. Okay. Is this gonna work, Tom? This has like a 80% chance. I, I feel really good about it. Now just give her the onion for half a second. We're hitting pretty high. Yeah, that didn't work. We're gonna need to put some tires under this. All right, new ramp set up. We're gonna try this again. What percent chance do we have of this working? 60. It went down? <laughs> last time it was 80. Yeah, I guess too high last time. Keep going. It's working. It's working, it's working. Yes. Keep going. Okay, let's get him nice and close. See, that was easy. I only love cars with ramps. <laughs> Tell us what you noticed. We had a loose lug nut down on this tire, so we're going to find a tool to get that tightened up. Then I think we're ready to get out of here. He'll get the rest of them. Mm. That's warm. <laughs> Thanks, man. You got the title? Yeah. Okay, cool, man. The rest is in the mail. Okay. I'm not bought that for a buck. It's just a down payment. It's just earnest money. Yeah, you'd hate to lose that. All right, we just left Jason's house and we are now headed back to the shop and we will see you when we get there. All right, we made it back to the yard. It has been an incredibly long day. It is 9.50 in the p.m. So what was that? 4.30 to 9.50. Yeah, like, I don't know, 18 hour day or something. But we packed a lot in. It was a good day. Yeah, it was a, good, it was a super good day. Super productive. Tomorrow we're going to be right back at it. Thanks for watching. This is not a staged handshake. Oh, oh. Like that, bro. I don't shake like that.